So in this Berserk broad discussion topic, I'm going to be explaining what Studio Gemba did well and what they didn't do well for this Berserk 2016 sequel anime adaption. And what I'm going to be doing also is comparing it to other anime such as Hunter x Hunter 2011 and Full Metal Alchemist 2003. And I'm not talking about Full Metal Al Alchemist Brotherhood there, I'm just talking about Full Metal Alchemist the first series. So I hope you enjoy and let's get right into this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see my big project that I've been working on, my Mob Psycho character analysis video of Mob and Ritsu, and that will air as soon as the last episode of Mob Psycho 100 airs for the season. But with that being said, let's get back to Berserk. Now, since Berserk came out three months ago, this sequel anime adaption, there was obviously a lot of hype for it as because of the manga, people who read that, and the previous anime adaption, which was pretty awesome 20 years ago. And that's understandable because the content that which is given from the manga and the first anime adaption is pretty outstanding overall if you read and watched them. And when the CGI dropped those few months ago, obviously it, people had the right to just question, is this anime going to be good? And we knew that they weren't going to be animating the Golden Age arc, i.e. the flashback arc, but we knew before the, this anime adaption started that they were going to animate the Black Swordsman arc, the first arc, and the Conviction arc, the third arc overall from the manga arcs. And right from the start, in episode one, we went from the first like two chapters all the way to chapter not around 96. And then in the third episode, we went all the way to around chapter 127, which was the point where Guts escaped from the Knights and taking Far Next as a hostage. So we already have the problem that the pacing is just far too quick, especially when you consider they cut so much content out of the Black Swordsman arc and they tried to replace part of the content in that arc, which is really important content when it comes to the fight with the Count and the reveal of the God Hand before the flashback starts with the manga. They skip all that to go to filler, which it is entertaining. That's the thing. If you're watching this as an anime only, yeah, there is problems, but it is still entertaining, but they're cutting so much stuff out. It just makes it really hard to watch. And let's not forget the fact that they skipped about 20 chapters worth of the content which involved the lost children, which was right at the start of the conviction arc. Some of the content in that arc was very important of how Guts eventually starts seeing the beast for the first time that is just so important for later in the series when he loses control of it. And all of these pacing issues for the first three episodes don't help at all when you're trying to get anime only to watch this when the CGI is average at best and it's very inconsistent at times, especially when in episodes where they have animation clips of 2D and then they go to 3D, which is way worse. I think in my personal opinion, they should have just done 2D animation for this instead of 3D CGI, it would have been a lot better, which could have just made this Berserk sequel anime adaption just so much better. And yeah, I think we all understand why they did 12 episodes and why they had to cut out so much content out. It's from a marketing and profit standpoint for the whole industry. 12 episodes, when you sell 12 episodes in DVDs and Blu-rays, you make a lot of money out of it and just saves production costs as it'd be less expensive, obviously, to, to produce 12 episodes than 24 episodes. And the title Berserk is such an iconic manga and anime name in the industry that people are obviously just gonna watch it just because it's Berserk. The whole community knows what it is and how awesome it is. And you would have had people watching it who didn't watch the 1997 anime and who haven't read the manga because it's Berserk. It's that goddamn good. And in my personal opinion, I've found this anime adaption really fun and enjoyable to watch so far because I know it's never going to be as good as the manga. The manga is just so good. The 997 anime was so good. And so it's just probably not going to live up to it. So if I just get to watch some Berserk content, I'm really enjoying it. But I can understand from the diehard manga fans who just want to see a perfect ad adaptation and they don't want to see these holes for the pacing which leads out so much characterization and leaves out so much plot progression overall for the stories at how much content they've missed, the lost children section and the section with the count, so many important scenes for the series. So I understand where all those fans are coming from. And this is a perfect time to just bring in 
the anime series examples that I want to relate to Berserk 2016. The first being Full Metal Alchemist 2003 from produced by Studio Bones. Not talking about Brotherhood here, talking about the original series. Now, if you are a fan of FMA, you would know that the original series produced by Bones, it eventually caught up to the manga and so they decided to do an anime only ending. And obviously this was very controversial as you know, not keeping to the source material, not keeping to what's canon. But at the time, it, is, it was very different time from anime compared to the anime now like Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul, One Punch Man, all of those anime series an adaptations, just like Berserk, are coming out in 12 episodes at a time to keep to the canon material, to not catch up to the manga. And it was a different time back then. They were doing series all out together. But as the times were different back then, around 2003, 2005, what did Studio what could Studio Bones have done? That's what the industry was doing back then. So they had to go to filler. And other shows like Naruto and One Piece, they were putting filler in as well. So overall, what FMA 2003 did is honestly the ending they did for the series was outstanding. Putting aside what's canon and just enjoying an anime series, it was amazing. And personally, I like FMA 2003 more than Brotherhood. I'm probably in the minority there. But Studio Jamba, they do not apply to this exception here. They had so much content that they could have covered and just done 12 episodes out of. They could have animated the parts with the Black Swordsman arc that weren't animated from the original anime series, like the parts of the Count and the God Hand, and then they could go on to animating the part of the Lost Children arc and end this anime adaption off, let's say, with Guts escaping from the night and and holding Far as a as a hostage. So that would probably be around 12 episodes. And then a year later, they could do another 12 episodes of the whole conflict with Guts versus Moskis. They could animate all of that. And that's where I come to the example of Hunter x Hunter 2011. Studio Gemba, they didn't need to constantly produce episodes of Berserk week in and week out for three or four years like Studio Madhouse did for Hunter x Hunter. But they really should have done what they did of just producing a complete anime adaption to the content of the manga because they had so much course material. And at this stage, as episode 11 is the last episode that has aired, we still have so much content, probably a bit under 200 chapters of the manga that hasn't been animated. So they could have done this over time, like Attack on Titan is doing, like Tokyo Ghoul has done, when you think about it. And just to end on a high for this video, I've actually thoroughly enjoyed episodes 4 to 11 on this series, obviously because I'm a big fan of, Bers of the, the Berserk series and I just find it really entertaining. You know, the pacing's been fine, they've been sticking to roughly five to seven chapters of the manga per episode, the characterization has been good, and the, all, all the main pot, plot points that are important to the series are getting discussed. So I've thoroughly enjoyed it, and especially the Guts v Mogus fight. That's one of my favorite moments of the whole series, that fight. Um, the character of Moskis is such an awesome character in my opinion, so I'm really enjoying that. But Studio Jemba dropped the ball in so many ways, and really, I'm not really sure whether I want to buy this adaptation of Berserk. Honestly, I don't think it's that good compared to the other material that's come out of the series. So, you know, are they really going to make that much profit from it? So with that being said, I am done. Jonesy signing off. Let me know what you, your thoughts were in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do, do you think that Berserk had a lot of problems and it really should have been, been better, a better series overall compared to some of the examples that I gave like Hunter x Hunter 2011 and Full Metal Alchemist 2003. But with that being said, like this video, share it to the masses, get this out. I'd appreciate that and subscribe for more Berserk content. I'm gonna eventually start reviewing manga on a weekly basis. I just got to stick to it. So subscribe if you want to see that. Thanks guys. Have an awesome day.